Oh man, look at you. You are cool man. Why thank you because a lot of people use me of new and better than others. Well that is nice to know. Wow you are nice. You yeah. I guess why I am going to kill you. Why? Because you are selfish. No I am not. Yes you are. Boo hoo hoo. Whoa, a doppelganger. Huh. You are my twin. I know. But that is totally weird girl so please don't be weird. Okay. Phew. Can I at least get the latte? No ooh 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 you're weird again. Ah. Uh. Sitting in the same table with a stranger is weird so please go away. Manny, it's me, don't you recognize me I was your teacher. Still, you were a strict teacher so go away because I do not want a distraction in this shop. You do not make me Manny. Is that a fact or a threat Amanda? Of course it is a threat because you are being a very bad student. Well, you are being a very bad teacher so I won't be talking. How am I being bad if I want you to get a good grade in college and get a scholarship and degree? Oh, I am truthfully sorry teacher, I really did not mean what I said. It is alright Manny, I forgive you. Catch up with me. I am sorry to inform you that we will not continue this class for next year. There has been far too few applicants. But how am I going to finish my education, principal? Look, I couldn't care less about your future Robert. Just get the fuck away from my school and get a job or something. 
but principal, will you not let me have my education if I read you some poetry? Fine, but I'm going to enjoy this by sitting down. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man, to telling only lies. Robert, that was beautiful. Amazing game you played out there. It certainly was remarkable. Why thank you Robert. You always compliment nicely and I'm happy about that. Well, I cannot believe that you managed to make the winning shot for your team the Miami Heat. Well here are a couple of reasons. I am the tallest player in my team. I can play basketball very well. And I kept practicing. Well. That may be a helpful tip to the people who are watching so anyways I really wish you luck on your next game.
Zebra, just so you know, I cannot live without my peanuts. They are so delicious, scrumptious, awesome taste. Is there a way you can get me a bag of peanuts because I am hungry? Eat something else elephant. There are millions of food out there so I suggest eat something else beside peanuts. Maybe something more healthier. But healthy food tastes weird and anyways, I love peanuts. I do not care about you loving peanuts, if you want them so badly, why do you not get them? Because, I cannot move. Okay that is a lame excuse. No it is not a lame excuse that I cannot move. Oh yes it is elephant. Just get food here in happy hour. Okay but what if they do not have peanuts? Oh here we go again about the peanuts. Just see if they have peanuts. But I have no money. Here. I will lend you five dollars. Gee, -e -e, thanks. Well I got the peanuts. Here have a peanut to make it up to you. Thanks. You're welcome. Sing with me. Peanut day peanut day. Peanut day peanut day. Get out of my face you idiot. You look very ugly so go away. You look like poop. I bet you would be crying to your mother right now. But why are you being so mean, I haven't done anything bad to you so there is no reason to be mean to me. Oh yes there is a reason. I am always mean to people either they like it or not. So get out of my face you dummy. You can't make me. G G G G G G G G G G my anger issues are acting up. Well, hello Edward, my grandson. Who the fuck are you? I do not even know you. I am surprised you remember very little. The last time you saw me was when you were 5 and now you are 16. I just do not get it when children do not remember stuff. I believe you because you know my name. Sweetie. Granny. It is called love. Hello Edward, my grandson. Let me guess, you are my grandpa. Yes I am your grandpa. Whatever. I love you Edward. I love you too I guess. You guess. Yes I guess. I love you like I mean it. Will you be asking a foolish question to me Amanda? Why no, I will not ask a foolish question but if I did, that would be a nuisance. You know if you have a foolish question in mind, please do not ask me because I will not answer. Ow, I was about to ask a foolish question. What is it? Did you forget the eggs? No, I did not. They are right in front of you. 
Oh, I have not seen them. Never ask a foolish question again. Okay, I'm really confused so I would start as what we have in common you know. Yes, I do know. Okay, hey, I have that jacket. I like collecting jackets, it is my hobby. Oh it is my hobby too. What is your name? Martin. My name is Martin too. This is just freaky. Laugh out loud. Okay, so you started your own business store by selling antiques which are not wanted today. You are wasting our family money and the next thing you will know, we will be homeless and live in a box. Well, we had to get money somehow. I believe those antiques were good investments. Listen, people are interested in high-tech stuff, not old antiques. Well I have not thought of that, that way. Well, think more clear before you do something. That might be a lesson to you to get good business. I know it is a lesson to me. Okay. I am a better president than you because I provide great care for my country. No. I am more better than you because I'm a mama mom. Ha ha, you have no comebacks. Dang it, you are better than me. But my face is better than you. What now? Oh yes I did Mr. Dot President. Aren't you too old for fights? Dang man you're good. Ha ha. Hey Doody, why are you so sad? You look so blue, ha ha because you are blue ha ha, that was funny, anyway, turn that frown upside down because the grass is always greener. Hey Carly, my pet hamster Fluffly just died, well me either that or he ran away, but I can never remember because I have slight memory loss. Well look at it this way, me and my mom will take you to the pet store tomorrow morning, and we will buy you a new one. Okay. Sure, okay then. That sound nice, but it will never replace Fluffy. Well nothing and no one will replace him. But look, I am only trying to help you for God's sake, so the least you could do it be grateful, you little dirt. I am sorry. Yeah, you apologize you blue smurf firmer, haha <laughs> anyway, I have to get back to work in the restaurant. But I might hang out later if you are around, okay? Okay, bye Carly. Dude I don't know what to do about Perla. Well, how am I supposed to know what to do? You're the one that likes her. But she has that crazy boyfriend, Gary. But she's been my friend since, like, I don't know fourth grade. I'm afraid that if I ask her out then I'm gonna pass out from the pressure in her boyfriend's fist. That's why you have to stand up to her boyfriend. Show him you're not scared of him. Even though you are. So what are you trying to say? Damn are you this stupid. You have to take the risk and ask her out. She doesn't even like Gary. Only because he's athletic and obnoxious. Oh, I get it now, but we need to plan it so it can go exactly right. No spit you moron. So let's get to it. Okay. Pretend I'm Perla. Walk up to me and say. Hey Perla how's it going? Then after that. You say whatever you want. And a quick note. Make sure Gay Gary isn't around. Okay. Go.
Hey, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to ask you that if you weren't going to the prom, maybe you could go with me. Um, no, I'm sorry, I'm going with Gary. See, you gotta be ready to be rejected too. Thanks, and um, you can stop the girl voice now. It's kinda creepy. Oh, sorry. Hey, Mitchell. Hey, Perlin. How's it going? Oh, not much. My boyfriend is in the hospital. Awesome. What? Nothing. Um, so are you going to prom? Ah, uh, Eam, I don't know yet because I wanted to go with Gary, but he's obnoxious. Don't forget game. Huh? Gum, did you want to go with me as a friend? Oh, Mitch. Um, yes. Yes, I will. That's awesome. So I'll see you there. Yes, you will. I gotta go. I'll call you later. Cool. So, are you in? Totally. I hope you know that your boyfriend's getting released from the hospital today. Are you from Star Trek? No. But are you from Super Mario Brothers? No I am not. Are you some kind of elf? No but are you some kind of moustache guy? Well I do have a moustache but I am Mario. HMMMM nice to know Mario. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello there mate. I am the complication. Why are you called that? It is complicated. Oh nice man. Yeah yeah. What is 2 plus 2? It is complicated. Laugh out loud. I love you Amanda. I love you too Charles. I have a secret. What is it? I am not human. What makes you say that? You look human. Yeah but I am really a vampire. Then prove it to me. I cannot right now because the moon is not in the sky yet even though it is the but not visible. The moon is visible so watch out Amanda. No way, bite me. If you wish. Ow. Yeah it hurts. Now we can be together forever. Yeah we sure could be together. So you have diabetes too? Yeah and it's terrible that we cannot eat any more sweets from now on. I just received diabetes today and I am worried about my blood sugar. Everyone with diabetes is so there is no difference. I hate healthy food like fruits and vegetables. I know they taste bad. Yeah but I do like juices. Yeah, me too. Well I am experiencing a life with diabetes. Me too. What's wrong girl? I want to ask Jeremy to the prom but I always have butterflies in my stomach which means I am nervous. Some girls have that problem also but manage to ask the guy. I know but this is different. I am really shy and I do not know if he likes me. I was just trying to help and give advice but you are too nervous. Face your fears. Helpful advice I may do that. Hey Jeremy, I was meaning to ask you this, will you go to prom with me? Why sure, I would go to prom with you, excellent.
yay. What the? Why is the beach here? It is supposed to be prom. I really do not understand. The scene changed. Wow, a perfect time to relax. True that. Hey girl and whoa hot guy, he is Jeremy. Yes, I know. Yeah of course because I told you his name. Thank you for teaching me not to be scared to ask Jeremy to prom. You're welcome. This movie theater is weird. Yeah, it is weird. I mean seriously, a little boy, a shark, daddy bears, an owl, an arm, a cow, and a baby. It kinda distracts us from the movie, right? Yeah, pretty much. Shall we leave? Why sure. Okay. I hate being puny. People always make fun of me. Hi Eric. Oh. Sorry Eric. You are so small, I have to kneel. Yeah, I know. Bye Eric. See what I mean, people step on me also. Hey Eric, you are the size of a small mouse. Yeah, I know, I get that a lot. I can see. Bye Eric. Sigh. Hey look, Google my size. Eric, how am I your size? Everything shrank to my size. I shrank everything but I am the only thing that is big. I will crush you. Run.